Off-Road Odyssey is presented by Rockford Fosgate. Hey, I'm Alexa Score, and welcome to Off-Road Odyssey. The Midwest isn't necessarily known for its terrain, but believe it or not, there are plenty of places to tear it up on the trails. This first ride takes us to Minnesota. You betcha. starting our ride near Gilbert, Minnesota, roughly three hours north of Minneapolis. Northern Minnesota is mining country. That's why they call it the Iron Range. We refer to ourselves as rangers. From the Iron Range, we're rangers. That's a very common term for the locals. All that iron in the ground turns the water rust color. The red puddles are iron ore, they're steel rusting. That's what's causing the red in all the big puddles that you're seeing. Gives you an idea of just how much iron is in these rocks. And that rust attracts riders from all over the state. <laughs> hey, we're not afraid to get dirty. Oh yeah, whoosh, water just flowing. I had it up almost onto the windshield. It was great. Oh, I was playing, I was playing. The older you get, the more you play. I was having a good old time. This is my first time here, and it definitely won't be my last. This place is pretty cool. Dean Schlick and his family drove three hours to be here with us today. So today I brought my daughter, her name is Tatum. I brought my identical twin boys, Talon and Trenton, and my wife, Cassandra. I'm fortunate enough to have a small army of children that uh, share my same passion. Dean's wife, Cassie, is all in. So if we're going in the Razor, it's gotta be an all day thing. I, I like to get in and ride, don't like to stop often. My wife is a real driver for it. If we're not doing 100, 125 miles a day, she's kind of mad at me. We pack lunches and we've got coolers in the back and we go all day long. Dean's family, along with the Quad Cities ATV Club, make up today's crew. We have a lot of couples and families because we want this to be a family-orientated club. The plan, to spend the day at Gilbert Off-Road Park. There are 36 miles of trails inside the park. Just long enough to spend the day, or the weekend. These trails wind in and out of the trees. It's not a flat dirt road. And there's uh, ups and downs. Tight corners. I like it. It's challenging, it's fun. It's like you said, it's got, there's a variety of everything. There is a nice mix of everything. The water, the rocks hills, the trails, thought it was pretty cool. You know, we found enough rocks to play on when we wanted to, and we found some mud, we found a little bit of everything. Dean's extended family is the Minnesota ATV Riders. They're one of the largest off-road clubs in the Midwest. The Minnesota ATV Riders it started out as just a, a little social club, and it's grown from a few members to almost 21,000. 
This is Dean's first time to the park, but he won't keep it a secret for long. This one's got the most to offer for sure. Off-Road Odyssey is sponsored by Rockford Fosgate, purpose-built audio. Motorcycle gear, no matter what you ride, MotorcycleGear.com has the gear you need. Aluma Trailers, ready to ride when you are. Murdoch's Ranch and Home Supply, your one-stop shop for all things DeWalt. And by Onyx Off-Road, your number one off-road mapping and navigation app. Welcome back to Off-Road Odyssey Midwest Edition. One of the most magical spots in the Midwest is Michigan's Upper Peninsula. We're headed to the shores of Lake Superior. Next stop, the UP. Michigan's Upper Peninsula is an oasis for adventure rivers, springs, waterfalls, and one really big lake. But our UP adventure starts in the Hiawatha National Forest. Sitting on the northern border of Wisconsin in the heart of the Midwest is Michigan's Upper Peninsula. It's nestled in between two of the Great Lakes and a stone's throw from Canada. We're starting our ride from the waterfront city of Munising and heading south into the Hiawatha National Forest. Joining us for our ride is Renzi Power Sports owner, Carol Renzi. I've been off-roading since I was a little kid, so before there were side-by-sides or ATVs, it was dirt bike. And I had a dirt bike when I was probably Seven. I've been riding with the guys for a very long time. Up here, it's just such a varied terrain. You can have flat, you can have great hill climbs, you can have sand dunes. There's so much to see. I love it all times of the year. We have a lot to see, so let's get out there. Today, we're in for some deeper magic. First, a ride through an enchanted forest. I feel like I had grown up on this stuff I, before I could walk even, right, in this kind of thing. Whatever season it is, it's, it's excellent riding. The UP as a whole, I mean, you can get on the trail and go north, south, east, west, all the way across. After a short ride through the woods, Carol leads us to our first stop, the Thunder Bowl. Originally, somebody had developed it as a ski lodge. That didn't last for very long. It's just that challenge, that climb. This adrenaline junkie wastes no time setting the pace. It's like a kid, you get to dig into the sand, you get to climb up high. Challenging your skills and your, yourself to see what you can do. Everybody loves it. It's kind of that sense of freedom that sense that you're in control of what you're doing. There's just no stress. It just all goes away, and then you challenge yourself. It's always about the challenge. Carol isn't afraid of getting her hands dirty. As a matter of fact, she's not really afraid of anything. Just ask her daughter, Charlene. No, she's not. <laughs> she definitely ages not something that she takes into consideration. 
she's out there with the best of them. Having a blast. I don't know, maybe it's just born in you, I guess. So I don't know, I, I like adrenaline, I like going fast. So I like to try different challenges and do fun things. After playing in the sand, Munising local Al Levine leads us through the open prairie. You just have to laugh when you say Al. He's a guide, he, he knows a lot. He grew up in the area. He knows a lot of cool little places to go. And he's entertaining too. Al takes us to the aptly named Blueberry Hill. Good, mm, don't get much better than this. This is good stuff and it's good for you too. Super favorite, fresh blueberries. It's a great snack on a, on a nice ride. <laughs> mm, they're so good. Good riding fuel. Riding fuel is right. And we're gonna need it. Because that was just a taste of what's to come. Road Odyssey is sponsored by Shock Therapy, your premier suspension tuning company. Cargo Max, the only utility trailer in the sports car category. Amsoil, engineered for what you drive. And by FlowFast, the ultimate portable fluid transfer system. and we've ridden in Michigan, but let's not forget about the Badger State, Wisconsin. And to enjoy it, we're linking up with a celebrity that's larger than life. We're here on this beautiful property in the heart of rural Wisconsin, and I'm supposed to be meeting someone here, but I haven't seen anyone yet. What are you doing on my property? Just kidding, come on in. Welcome to the Meat Castle. I'm the Beef King, Adam Share. I guess we're going with him today. Let's go. <laughs> What's up, I'm Adam Share, uh, WWE superstar, former world's strongest man competitor, North America's strongest man. You name it, I've tried it. Wisconsin all day. Okay, I've seen this on TV, but being this close is wild. Yeah. I didn't know how loud it was. Okay. Very, very loud. Two by fours and a one inch foam pad. More than welcome to step in, walk around, and feel it. <laughs> but you might not make it. Yeah, but you might not make it. Out here enjoying a little bit of God's country. For WWE superstar Adam Scher, God's country is Wisconsin. We used to come up maybe once a summer every couple of years when I was a kid. I, there was just something that always drew me to want to be up here. Today, we're going to do something Adam rarely has time for, a ride in the Wisconsin backwoods. The adventure begins in Lakewood, Wisconsin, just an hour northwest of Green Bay. I just always wanted to be in Wisconsin. Like, we, Dad, we were like, you want to go on vacations? We want to go to Wisconsin. You want to go to Disney World? No, we want to go to Wisconsin. It's just something about, I love it up here, man. Well, I mean, it's hard not to. Adam's never been to this part of Wisco, but the state feels like home. It is so homey, just so welcoming, inviting, more so than anywhere else I've been on Earth, and I've been everywhere. 
You name it, I've been there. It's easier for me to name places I haven't been than places that I've been. Adam's buddy Will flew in from Atlanta just to ride today. This is my first time to land it, and I officially checked it off the list now. I've been hogging the wheel. That's OK. I'm enjoying it. You know, at, at the end of the day, either you're riding or driving, you're still getting a great experience. And Wisconsin is one of those places where you can ride for miles and miles. Wisconsin is a, a fantastic state for riding. It's a fantastic time of year. I, I just love it. We ended our day with lunch. Our freshly squeezed lemons. And when Braun Strowman is around, it's not a normal day at the cafe. This guy doesn't walk around like, like he's someone who's known, but when I told my friends I'm riding with him, uh, my, my goddaughter said, hey, can you, can, can I get an autograph? Can you send me a video? Can you, can you, can you do something for me? I'm like, hey, this is just a regular guy, and I really appreciate uh, how sincere he is. He's, he's a cool dude. You know, knowing what he does for a living, you know, knowing his um, status, I guess you could say, you know, when he walks in, goes into restaurants, or, you know, he's so appreciative of fans and people come in and ask for autographs or hugs and, you know, selfies, and he's so appreciative of that, and it's really nice to be around someone very genuine. Smiles, hugs, and good times all around. Any opportunity to get outside and do stuff. I'm just so, we're, with my career, we're always in big cities, big arenas, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people and stuff. And to be able to just slow down and, you know, just appreciate how amazing earth and life really is outside of the crazy stuff that you think is really important. ATV trail system in Iron County. The adventure, there is so much adventure up here. There are so many trails. With five trail systems and almost 500 miles of trails, Iron County offers some of the best off-roading in the Midwest. It's like a big kid playground. To get here, head north, way north, right on the Wisconsin Upper Peninsula border. We start in Hurley, Wisconsin. It's nice just to go from city to city to state to state up here. So it's really, it's really cool <laughs> that we don't have to put it on a trailer. <laughs> They're some of the best. and loves how the county caters to off-road tourism. Iron County ATV trails are so well known throughout the state just because you can ride 20, 25 minutes and bump into another restaurant, you'll bump into a gas station. There's really a lot of uh, local amenities uh, for the trail riders around here. are pumped and ready. From Hurley, we head west to Montreal. It's a uh, rugged uh, rails to trail, abandoned railroad that's been turned into an off-road trail. So 
So from this point in the Iron County ATV trail system, you can go north, south, east, or west. There's an abundance of waterfalls here, and to end our trip, we ride south to Spring Camp Falls. Spring Camp Falls is a very intimate waterfall. You can walk right up into it. It runs through a little crevice uh, in, the, in the granite rock, and. Um, it's, it's really a picturesque spot to stop and have lunch. It's fun and exciting and it's something new. Every time you go, it's something different. Thanks for riding with us. Until next time, get out there and get off-road.